Hello and welcome back to Neville Land. Today we are in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, we have already watched Festival of Fantasy. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining us. It is a hodgepodge day. We're gonna figure out what is going on. We do have dinner at Cinderella's uh, Royal Table, but for right now, uh, Snow White ice cream is priority. Let's go have melted dairy. Uh, it has been a while since I've been in the park during the day. Um, I think I'm gonna do a whole series of just like people watching and creating backstories for random people here in the park. I think that'd be fun. Right? Like that guy. His name is Bob. He's from Tulsa and he likes holding bags over his head. That's his workout. Holding things over his head. All right, so the dwarf ice cream was lemon and blueberry and that sounded disgusting. <laughs> so mom and I got floats. I got root beer and vanilla. She got Coke and chocolate. Chris got the high ho oh, sundae. Oh, it looks like Coke. Root beer and chocolate. Chris got the high ho sundae, which is ice cream with a whole bunch of stuff on it. It's a good day of Magic Kingdom, everybody. It's a good day. We found a lovely spot near Cosmic Rays to devour our already melted dairy. How's your day going, Mom? Fine so far. Good. Don't cry about it. You're okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and food. All right. On to snack number two. Snack Some number funnel two. Some cake that we've cake. already dove into. Chris brought it all the way over from Sleepy Hollow along with a doom buggy. Which I've had before, and apparently now it is made with ginger ale and not ginger beer. Presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? Tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Hey mom, yes. did you know that the contemporary, originally, mm -hmm. the contemporary was considered to be an extension of Tomorrowland? I only learned that recently. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And therefore the Polynesian was an extension mm -hmm. of, of Adventureland, Adventureland. And, and Four Wilderness would be an extension of Frontierland. True, yeah. But the Grand Floridian does not fit in that mix. Doesn't fit anywhere. They just Easy. need a fancy It's just hotel. pretty. They just needed a fancy hotel. I came up with a brilliant idea of the laugh world. Where we invite you into our world. Not to be scared, but to laugh. Oh, it is. Don't be scared to laugh. Laugh as if an entire... Oh, great. More humans. Monstropolis. Does anybody know more monstrops here? Who is this? He's green, he has one eye. Shut it out! Daddy's correct, it is Mike Wazowski. Raise your hand if your name is Mike. Go on, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay, go up here, Smokey. That completes the mic check. He may not have enough power to open the exit doors. <laughs> Tell we're off to a great start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Laugh War. And now, make some noise for your monster of ceremonies, me, Mike Wazowski.
a tale of two monsters. The first, a big, a hairy scarer named Sally. Oh, we got a hairy and a scary oh. right there. And his best friend, Mike Wazowski. Oh, Mike Wazowski! Oh, oh. Um, excuse me, that's Mike Wazowski with a one eye. Could you just have the one eye? Cover an eye or close an eye? I'm talking to you. which was experiencing a power crisis. Oh, no, everybody say, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Wow. It was Sally's job to collect screams for power by making scary faces. Oh, make a scary face. <laughs> <laughs> Just came out of Monsters, Inc. Mom, did you have a good time? Yes, it was fun. Chris? Very funny. I love audience participation. I don't love it when the person they pick doesn't understand, doesn't understand or just won't participate. Yeah. It's really frustrating. And as a performer who has done one of those type of shows, it's the yeah. worst. It's hard. So to my two friends, who I know who you were, not that you'll ever see this video, but I know my friends uh, were performers in that show. Cinderella's Royal Table. We do have a video from the last time we were there. We'll put in the description down below, but it is always a joy to eat at this restaurant. Uh, I started out with the charcuterie board. Mom had the beef tenderloin as her entree. Chris and I both had the magic carpet ride, which was pork tenderloin. And I went with the strawberry cheesecake for dessert. As always, thank you for your time and attention. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. And remember, it's a good day to have a good day.